So lung stereotactic body array therapy, or SBRT as it's more commonly known, is a much more effective way of treating early stage lung cancer in patients who for other reasons can't have an operation. And we know by using modern technology, as in imaging the tumour as it moves, imaging the tumour on the treatment when that patient's delivered, we can deliver a much higher dose and a less number of treatments. So typically we can deliver the treatments in five or three, we're normally delivering in 20 plus. And by doing this, it not only does it be more convenient for the patient, but it can also increase the chance of cure. And we know from some of the published evidence, it doubles to trebles the chance of controlling the cancer that we can see. So how come this Leeds has been the first place to introduce this in the UK? I think since we moved to the new site in James, we've had a lot of new technology put in to make this feasible. I also spent some time prior to moving here in Toronto where this program has been up and running at the Princess Margaret Hospital and spent two years doing research in the stereotype body. So when I came back, we put together a multidisciplinary team, including myself, other clinicians, and predominantly physicists and, and radiographers who've done a lot of hard work to try and get this up and running. And over the past 18 months, have gone from planning this to actually delivering it to patients. And when did you start delivering to patients? We first treated a patient in May and we were the first centre in the UK to offer this. And hopefully through the UK Stereotype Consortium, many other centres will be able to offer this to patients in the future. So how many patients have you treated so far? We've now treated 15, and although we're still in the early days, the results have been very promising. What, what are the benefits of this treatment? So lung stereotactic body ray therapy, or SBRT, delivers the same dose that we're delivering in 20 treatments in 3 to 5 treatments. And by using all the technology we have here at St James Institute of Ecology, we can do that safely. And by doing that, we reduce the amount of time the patient comes to the hospital, but also double to treble the chance of controlling their cancer. It is driven by technology. It is the improvements in, in computers and, and all the high-tech mm. equipment. Th this is what's allowed you to move on with it. It allows us to deliver a very high dose safely to the tumour, but spare the critical normal structures around it, and therefore we can deliver much higher doses, and we know with much higher doses we can increase the chance of killing the cancer cells and curing the tumour. And it, uh, traditionally, how often would a patient have had to come in for radiotherapy compared to this? Typically, for what we call a radical trying to cure the patient, patients come in for 20 or more treatments, and now we're offering that in three or five. And what, what do the patients make of this? Our patients have tolerated this very well. There's been very little way in side effects, and it seems to be better tolerated than our standard radiotherapy. It must be uh, quite uh, a source of pride for you that you've seen this elsewhere and you've been able to bring this to, to Leeds. Yes, I think we're very proud to have it up and running in Leeds. I think that's something we should be aiming you know, with this sort of technology that we have in the, in the Bexley Wing, we should be looking to develop radiotherapy services more in the future.